The title gives it away a bit, but can you tell us a bit more detailed what your book is about? Well, the book is a history of forgery with a focus on art, but we deal with other aspects of cultural forgery. So there's a chapter on political forgeries, forgeries of literature, even fine wine. And it's a true crime book, but it has this background behind the scenes in the art world that I think people will find intriguing. And it's full of very fascinating characters who are lovable villains. And I can give you an example. One of the forgers in the book is my favorite forger, if I'm allowed to say that, is named Eric Hebern. And Eric Hebern was a British art forger who is the only one of all the 60 that I feature who I think was at the same level as the artists he forged. He was that good an artist. And he forged people like Van Dyck, Titian, and Raphael. And he was a passionate art historian. He wanted to get the details just right. So is there a common profile of an art forger? There is a profile for the majority of art forgers. And it goes like this. They began hoping to be an original artist, creating their own original works, but it didn't work out for them. And they decided that they're going to get a sort of passive-aggressive revenge against the art world. By passing off their work as the work of a famous artist, they do two things. First, they can convince themselves that they must be as good as the artist they're forging if the experts can't tell the difference. And two, they show that the experts are very foolish for not being able to tell the difference. And by extension, it implies that the experts were foolish for having rejected their original works. That's why most of the forgers turn to forgery in the first place. Now they keep on forging because they're making money doing so. But that initial impetus to turn to crime is fairly consistent with the majority of forgers I looked at. Can you consider them as artists as well? This is a good debate question whether art forgers are also artists. I would say sort of. That's my cheating answer. They are not great artists in the traditional sense because almost by definition most of them tried to be original artists and failed to do so for whatever reason. Yeah. Great original artists create a vocabulary that is unique to their work. They have this sense of having created something that is new and ingenious and a signature of their authorship. Whereas forgers are by definition doing something derivative. They are skillful imitators of someone else's ingenious mm -hmm. style. They are more clever than they are skillful artists, I would say. And I also read in your book that the police doesn't take forgery really seriously. It's a problem with all art crime. Police in general don't tend to take it very seriously. And this is despite the fact that we know that art crime is one of the highest grossing criminal trades per year around the world. It's up there with the drug and arms trades. We know that it funds organized crime and even terrorism. But it's not taken particularly seriously by police because they have this idea that art is somehow frivolous and they should be chasing other sorts of bad guys. It's probably the friendliest way to commit economic fraud <laughs> that you could imagine. And the forgers themselves tend not to think of themselves as criminals. They think of themselves more as practical jokers. How did you get interested in the art forgery fields? Well, I came about it a sort of backwards route. My first book was a novel and it was set behind the scenes in the art world and I wanted it to involve crime so I did some research and found that there was relatively little written from a scholarly perspective about any aspect of art crime. Forgery interested me in particular so I wanted to integrate that into the plot of my novel. And that was how I did research on it and thought well, maybe I could write some books that would contribute to the field. Do you paint yourself? I'm a terrible artist myself. I draw little cartoons for my daughters. That's about as much as I can do. But I admire people who do have artistic skill and I think that's why I like studying them.